My name is Adam Kelgan, and I'm the National University Liaison for UniGrad. I wanted to take a couple of quick moments to talk about first impressions. We've been doing a lot of interviews at the office recently, simply because we're filling a number of student ambassador roles. As such, we've been talking to, well, a lot of students. And as they come into the office for their interview or over the internet via Skype, their first impression has very often been lacking. They interview well, they even present themselves well, but their first impression betrays the message they want to deliver, which is, I'm interested, I'm engaged, I'm very keen to get on board with your team. And that, I think, probably is transferred to a number of other interactions that students might have. So I wanted to talk about three things really quickly that'll help you nail it. Number one, eye contact. When someone comes into the waiting room to talk to you, make sure you make eye contact with them. I don't mean blank stare and then hopefully they just notice you're looking at their eyes. I mean make engaging eye contact. You're able to break it, you're able to notice something else in the room, you can look away for a quick second. You can even seek inspiration from the ceiling as you answer some of the difficult questions. But always returning to their eyes is very important. It shows that you are engaged, it shows that you're interested, and it also shows that you understand the importance of external body communication. The second is your smile. So few students smile because they're so nervous. You know, you're a little bit jumpy, you're jittery, you want to make sure you get everything right, you stand up, you're rigid, you drop something, now you're really upset. What happened? Did I do it wrong? What's going on? Just relax and smile. All you're doing is giving them the first impression that I'm here, I'm open, I'm warm, we're going to have a great relationship right now, even if it's just for the next five minutes while you ask me about my previous work history. And then lastly, the handshake. So very important, and I can't stress it enough, it is very, very important that you get a great handshake. But you don't want to worry about it so much that you totally screw it up. So again, just like the previous two tips, you want to make eye contact, you want to smile, and then grasp the hand firmly and just shake it a couple of times up and down. This isn't drastic movement, it's not really dynamic, and it's not really forceful either. It's just a relaxed physical interaction, professionally based, that says, it's very nice to meet you. I'm a young professional and I can't wait to get on board with your company. So try and nail those three things down. Eye contact, the smile, and your handshake. Under the resource section of our website, you'll also find some tips on how to really nail, especially that handshake, some finer points. But in the meantime, practice with your family and friends so that anytime you meet that HR rep at a university careers fair or the CEO at McDonald's by accident, you're always prepared. Good luck and we'll see you on campus.